Yes, Mark Thiessen is a columnist for The Washington Post, a fellow at the American Enterprise Institute, and a Fox News contributor. All right, I'll just get out with it, Mark. Here's the headline <laughs> of your latest column. Why are Republicans raising taxes on millions of Americans in The Washington Post? You, you are very critical of this tax plan. Why? Well, I'm very, I'm actually supportive of the tax plan overall, but the problem with it is, is that it, a lot of people in the middle class are not going to get a tax cut. About a, one in four Americans are not going to get a tax cut, and about 14 percent of middle class voters, middle class Americans, are going to see their taxes increase. That shouldn't happen under a Republican tax plan. Uh, and we're, we're right now, you know, the bill is the bill is kind of in a mess. They're going to House Senate conference uh, to to work out the differences between the bill and try and get it to the president's wanna... desk. But the problem is. That I, right I, now I don't the want to stop you right there, though, Mark. I'm going to interrupt you. I'm yep. sorry, but but go, uh, go you know ahead. the American people are so confused. I mean, it's a conversation and everywhere. It's like, are your taxes going up or are they going down? People really cannot figure this out. So help them because you've dug into the numbers sure. here, and in your column you cite. Uh, studies from the Joint Committee on Taxation and the Tax Policy mm -hmm. Center, you say that they both come to the same con conclusion, which is basically almost one in 10 Americans are actually going to see their tax bill go up as a result of this. Tell us how, you, how, do, you, how do they come to that conclusion? What numbers are they using? They're, they're looking at, so the Republican bill, basically what it does is it lowers rates and it gets rid of a lot of deductions, but increases the standard deduction, doubles the standard deduction. Um, and so people are left to figure out, well, you know, am I a winner or a loser in, the, in, the, in this? Does that, does losing all my deductions that I have, but also getting so these, who wins? Uh, these, who uh, wins? Uh, uh, we don't, but that's the problem. Under a Republican government, they shouldn't be asking that question. Mm. We shouldn't be raising taxes on anybody. The Republican Party's mantra for years has been, it's your money, it's not the government's money. You should keep more of your money so you could save and invest it or spend it as you see fit on the needs of your family. If you need a little bit more money to pay your mortgage or to put your kids through school or to save for college, you should have that money. Republicans should not be raising taxes, especially on the middle class and 14% of, of middle class, Amer middle income Americans. Americans are going to see a tax increase under this bill. And then the other problem is, quite frankly, Sandra, they, in the last minute in the Senate bill, they, they re reinstated the alternative minimum tax. Now, the alternative minimum tax is complicated, but it's a, it, what it is is basically it's a parallel tax code. And Americans are forced uh, to, to fu cal calculate their taxes two ways, under two different systems, and whichever one is higher, they have to pay the higher rate. That's a horrible system that the Republicans should not be uh, including in a tax bill. And it hits particularly not wealthy people. Wealthy people don't pay it. It hits middle income families. It hits fa double income families where both parents are working, who have a mortgage to pay. And the more kids mm -hmm. you have, the more likely you're to pay it. We should not be doing that. There should be no alternative minimum tax under a Republican government. Your column does not mince words. You say this should never happen under a unified Republican government. There are four words that no American should ever be able to utter. Republicans raised my taxes. Under this bill, millions will. What changes between, between now and the next couple of weeks then, Mark? They've got, they've got time to fix some of these problems, and the, but, they, but they need to reorient themselves. The problem is, is they're very focused on corporations and, don't, and the donor class and not focused enough on the middle class. So right now, the, their phones are ringing with CEOs and wealthy donors who are trying to get fixes uh, for, for, their, for their bottom line. Individual taxpayers don't have a direct line to the speaker and the, and, and the Senate majority leader, so they can't advocate for themselves. We need to remember, if look, the Republican Party is borrowing $1.5 trillion in order to provide a massive tax cut for corporations from 35 to 20%. I've, I've, if next November voters go to the polls and they don't get a tax cut or they see their taxes increase and Republicans borrowed $1.5 trillion yeah. for, a tax, uh, for, a, for, a, for tax cuts, they're going to punish them in the polls. So your we need to start thinking taken. about the voters your, and not the donors. Your point is taken and you conclude your piece by uh, quoting Chairman Brady saying at every step we've worked to improve this. I would say at the end of the day, wait till the final bill to use his words. We'll leave it there. Mark Thiessen, thank you. Absolutely. Wow. 20 pounds.